Hey everybody, Ben here with Fly Plugins, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to secure your file downloads using S3 Media Maestro. Now with S3 Media Maestro you can protect your video and audio content, uh, but one thing that's really cool is you can actually protect uh, any flat files that you may have. For instance, you may have uh, a Word document or a PDF file uh, that you would like to secure, uh, and you can actually use S3 Media Maestro to secure those files. So let's go ahead and begin this tutorial. The first thing we're going to do is add a new post so that we can have a platform to add our file download. And I will give this a title. And this time what we're going to do is we're actually going to use this button here, the Add S3 File Download. In previous videos we used the audio video player, but in this particular video because it's just a flat file uh, download that we're going to secure, we're going to use the Add S3 File Download button. And you'll notice uh, the very first option here is to add in the S3 file URL. I'm just going to add the file name. Okay, now here you can uh, specify an alternate S3 bucket. Again, if you wanted to add uh, a different bucket that this file, particular file is in, a different bucket that's then what is specified in your default settings page, uh, you can specify that here. For now, we're just going to keep the default. The S3 expiry time here, uh, this actually overwrites the default setting. Uh, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and just keep the default setting that I have now. And then you have an option here for access key and secret key. Uh, this is actually if you are using a different uh, S3 account, perhaps uh, you would add in the access key and secret key, which would overwrite the access key and secret key that's specified in the default settings page. Next we have the link options. Now this is really cool because you can actually uh, specify a different uh, anchor text here if you wanted uh, the anchor text to be something like download secured file uh, you can make that the anchor text. Uh, the other cool thing is you can actually add in a attribute uh, that will actually go into the actual link itself. So if you wanted to create a CSS class for this you could do so here and lastly uh, you can open the link in a new tab uh, you can click yes or no here. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and select no for now. And we're going to go ahead and insert the short code. So now we have our short code here. You'll notice the anchor text is in between the short code. And we're going to go ahead and click publish. So now we want to go view our post. And you'll notice I've got this nice little link here, download secured file. And if I click the file, you'll notice my PDF file opens right up. Now remember, I did not specify to open that in a new window. So now I'm going to go back and just give one more demonstration on how to add in a uh, file download that actually opens in a new window. And so I'm just going to take the default settings. And here I'm going to go ahead and just select yes. And we're going to add the short code. And you'll notice it added in a new parameter here, new tab equals yes. We're going to update our page and we're going to view our post and you'll notice here's my new link and if I click that link you'll notice it popped up in a different tab at the top. So now I still have my original page and I also have the PDF file opened in a new tab. And that concludes this video on how to protect downloadable files with S3 Media Maestro.